Hey there, everybody. It's Maggie from Personal Euphoria uh, coming to you with a move of the day from, you know, this fabulous, don't mean to brag, book, Keep Moving, Take Steps to Relieve Pain and Improve Your Life. But this is a tip from uh, page 212. And if you're in my Pilates classes, you've seen this. And um, but, but maybe you, you still don't fully understand it. It's basically the pelvic tilt. Right, and in the pelvic tilt, what we're talking about is just rocking your pelvis a very small amount between what we in Pilates refer to as imprint and neutral. Neutral is the natural curve of your low back, um, and imprint is when you press the low back into the mat. But most people, when they first try to imprint, it comes from every muscle but the abs. You squeeze the butt, they tighten their legs, if they can even kind of find that movement. So we're just gonna play with that a little bit today. I'm trying to think where this will be best. All right, so that pelvic tilt, imprint is pressing the back against the floor, neutral is creating the arch. Everybody's neutral is different, but generally one or two fingers between your low back and the floor are a good gauge, or kind of just noticing what it feels, right? We can extend beyond neutral and that creates tension, or if we're tucked all the time, that creates a different tension for people. But you might feel more natural in imprint and it might be a little struggle for you to become neutral if your posture tends to tuck your tailbone. So you want to be able to move between these two points and see how subtle that is with ease. But very often when people rock to imprint, they squeeze their butt to do it or they press into their feet and their whole legs engage. And the goal is to make this happen from the abs. So the abs shorten and gently rock you to imprint and then these two points lengthen away. And you want to be able to have that move come from your abs. If this is new for you and you are not able to make it come from here, you keep clenching or you keep feeling like you're pushing into squeezing your hips almost, you can lay your legs over a bunch of pillows so that they're totally relaxed and chances are you'll be able to find that then and then you recreate it without the pillows. But try to play with that pelvic tilt and make it come from the abs and make it super subtle. It's a useful tool, not just for Pilates, but if you're prone to low back pain, it's a little bit of movement with ab control, right? Not tucking, the ta not tucking and squeezing the butt to tuck the tailbone, but just using your abs to subtly rock and get some pelvic movement. So I hope that's helpful uh, in understanding what the pelvic tilt is and giving you one more tool for movement. Have a great day, and as always, keep moving.